Hi everybody, I'm back. So I've been working really hard these past few months to finding venture capitalist funding. I was thinking that it was the best way to go for my product, but later I found out that it is not the best way to go. Uh, it could be for some others and uh, some other apps, but it's not in our business strategy for now. So long story short, due to the fact that I'm sorry, currently still working, so I'm currently still teaching my final year, literally my last cohort, and even though it's part-time, I do not qualify for funding. I found out that I needed to be full-time on the startup to be able to qualify for VC funding. Actually, this is quite obvious, but this obviously makes it a little bit difficult for us to build and move forward. But I'm not faced, guys. I'm still bootstrapping as we were doing from the very beginning, and I think that we'll be able to pull this through. My partner, Man and I have decided to fund this ourselves, and we will work really hard and find ways to build these apps ourselves. But this is where I say, I'm sorry guys, for the ones who have supported us from the very beginning, my early adopters. You see, we're three months old and I pretty much put so much time trying to get that BC funding that I've sacrificed my customer relationship building with my early supporters. And I feel really stupid about it, guys. Well, it's actually known to me now that there is no way possible that you can actually spend time fundraising and running the business at the same time. I wish I knew that earlier because as gung-ho as I thought I was, it's just not physically possible to do so because there's only so many hours in a day. And guess what? It's the ultimate leveler of men, time. So it's not too late and I'm on it and we will put time into it to look after my main business and talking to you guys. On that note, I wanted to add that we've taken all your response and all your feedback in and we've onboarded it. So we're making changes and some of them are already out. So changes to the YouTube link, um, being able to edit your posts and uploading files and downloading files from the chat, uh, being able to tag each other and being able to even view the, the, the news feed without signing up. So this is all in the, the current build that's actually up now. I wanted to let you know that there are, we are listening to you and we're responding so that you have the best app which suits your needs made just by creatives, for creatives, and because we understand your pains. But let's be honest here. Every time we take on your feedback and we make changes, it's like six to eight weeks to the next build. So it's still a stall. It's like a waiting game, right? I don't really like that. It makes us look bad. Like we're not doing anything, but we are, I promise. It just really takes that long. So this is what I'm thinking between each build. I can help you by adding value into your business. While we wait for the changes to be made and implemented, and um, you know, at this point in time, that would be responding to your feedback, adding the changes into the next build, and the next one would be the job section in December. I know that's the one that you've been waiting for. We're almost there. <laughs> in between, I'll dole out tips I know and uh, we know. Insights that we teach basically um, on an everyday. And for personally, for me, it would be entrepreneurship tips that I have made, uh, the mistakes that I've made so that you don't make the same mistakes. So I'll post them periodically, my style, quick, fast and dirty videos, the way I like it. Or better yet, I'll just blog them as we go. And on the note of funding, we're gonna put it, I'm just gonna put it out there, guys, that we're gonna welcome donations, if that's even a thing. But I believe in giving value for my users, and I'm going to build something for my users, my students, my ex-students, and the general creative uh, community to help you get back up on your feet or facilitate media crews getting found easily for shoots, etc. etc. Okay, so tip number one, so that you know what I mean. Labeling. So here's the thing. If you're back on freelance or self-employment, etc., the first label that you are putting yourself into is freelancer or self-employed. This very label of freelancer is going to put you in a very difficult spot. It makes you vulnerable for clients to take advantage of the very nature of freelancers and lowball in their favor. You see, this is not anybody's fault. We've actually grown into, into this like for years. It's just human nature, especially in times of crisis right now during the pandem pandemic and in the middle of a recession. 
um, so much so that they've even created a name for it. It's the freaking COVID discount right now. So look out for some free video tips on how to build your creative entrepreneurship. Oh, well, I like to call it the creativepreneurship. <laughs> but this is to rebrand your personal identity as a designer by identifying your go-to styles to make known how you can add value and benefit your clients through educational marketing. Transformative benefit strategy is the best way to gain clarity and clients need clarity. They don't always understand what you're getting into and how they're going to be able to get value out of you. So clarifying these steps will help them make a better judgment in taking you on for your service. Easy. Okay. Now, leading on, I'll try to build something that will help make money for this app. But this will be like late in the year, baby. I promise that it will be value packed. And my vision for this is, for ourselves, is you know, to create this app made by us, funded by us, so we don't answer to anybody. Which also means that we're not in the market for VC funding anymore. But we're still taking calls and suggestions from users, from creatives to find out your pain points. I want to do that for you, okay? We want to make the best app possible. So reach out to me and look forward to catching up with you real soon.